just come along and anywhere there's so we selected the cracked sand and then boom this automatically will replace all the cracked sand with dirt as long as you have it in your inventory Hello and welcome to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. Okay, we've got a couple of things that I want to do that are not quests. And then we've got a couple of quests that we want to complete today as well. So let's first of all, let's start off in here. And I've got a couple of things in here. So first thing, let me go ahead and grab all this stuff here. And we're going to come over to here. And we are going to start off with what is known as a rod of shifting crust. Rod of the shifting crust. And that is made from two living wood twigs, two stone, and a rune of sloth. So let's go ahead and shift click that. We've got everything we need. And we now have a rod of the shifting crust. Now I will show you that in a little bit, but essentially this allows us to place dirt very, very easily. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is going to be what's known as a ring of cordata. Ring of C-H-O-R-D-A-T-A. -A. Ring of cordata. There it is. And this is a raw puffer fish and a raw salmon. I had to do a little bit of fishing to get those. Um, and then four mana steel and a rune of water. So let's go ahead and claim that. Did it not do it? Why not? Okay, so we have those four. Oh, I grabbed a rune of air, not a rune of water. That's why. All right, so let's put that back. Rune of water is this one here. All right. Rune of water, puffer fish, and salmon. And that will give us the ring of cordata. Now, the ring of cordata is something we are going to be using today essentially it is something that we will equip in our bobble slot i'm going to take out our band aura temporarily put in our ring of cordata and this will um, allow us to breathe underwater as long as we have some mana on us so we could carry on a mana tablet we've got our band of mana our ring of mana no band of mana and the band of aura would just replenishes that. Um, so we're going to be using that because we're going to be doing a little bit of um, underwater stuff today. So those are the two things that we are going to be um, crafting uh, that are not quests. So let's go ahead and get to a couple of quests here. So we need to go into the book and we're going to go into chapter seven what the world is built from and we are going to come up here to uh, withering seeds uh, see you don't even need to think about making seeds anymore but you sure wouldn't mind some seeds to artificially create wither skeleton skulls so yes we want that um, we are going to craft wither soul seeds so let's take a look at that recipe we need three extreme essence a rune of wrath a rune of pride Two wither skeleton skulls, which we got in a, as a reward, and essence seeds. So, let's see, in this chest here, we've got everything here that we need for that. Let me go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. So, wither skeleton skulls, extreme essence, essence seeds, wrath, and pride. Let's go ahead and get these put onto our runic altar here. Those two, those three extreme essence, essence seed, rune of wrath, rune of pride. And this is going to take a little while, so I'll be right back with you as soon as this is ready. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and put our stone up there. Hit it with the wand, and there we go. We have our wither soul seeds. All right, let's go ahead and put this stuff away real quick. Claim our reward on that. See, there's the pride. And there's the wrath. 
Let's go ahead and come into our quest book and we're going to take the extreme essence on this. Uh, this stuff is kind of pricey to make because if you take four stacks of the essence dust, we'll make one extreme essence. That's how crazy uh, that recipe gets. So the next thing we're going to be doing is another seed in here and we're going to be doing regeneration seeds. So let's click on this. Uh, let's see, uh, what better seed to make than one which can heal your wounds? So the regeneration is um, going to be for strong essence, rune of spring, rune of earth, a splash potion of regeneration two, and that's just a normal vanilla splash potion, and essence seeds. So let's go ahead and grab that stuff here. Let me get these out of the way. Uh, and so let me go ahead and grab that. And there's, those are strong essence, essence seeds, rune of earth, and rune of spring. So let's go ahead and get those onto our altar here. Flash Potion Regeneration, Strong Essence, Essence Seeds, Universe, and Moon of Spring. Okay, this is going to take a moment, so I'll be right back with you as soon as this is ready. Okay, we're ready. Let's go ahead and put the stone down. Like that, And there we go. We have our Regeneration Seed. So let's go ahead and put away our runes here. That one and that one. Let's go ahead and claim our reward on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, uh, regeneration petals because I've got a lot of strong essence already saved up. So let's go ahead and claim those. All right. So um, let's head upstairs and let's get these scanned and planted. So let's head this way. Stairs here. Oh, it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. All right. And we're going to come out here and get this scanned. I did not set up my planting area, but we can do that real quick here in just a second. All right. So we've got our wither soul seeds which should be 111 and our regeneration seeds which should also be 111 that they are okay let's grab some crop sticks yeah and let me come over here and get these planted and I will be right back with you all right I, I brought you out here by our um, power station um, that we had finished up in the last episode and I had to tweak it a little bit as you recall we had one line coming out the center here of our steam that would come into the back of all of the uh, the industrial steam engines and then they went into separate pot into the pipes and they they've had a line down here the problem was um, is if you had more than one engine running on that pipe then you would lose energy um, it just the the single uh, golden fluid pipe just could not support really more than one engine at a time running on it so I changed this up a little bit I, I got our, our emerald fluid pipes here and then I attached the engines directly to that um, and um, then we come out with an emerald kinesis pipe that leads into um, the, the uh, quartz pipes. And then I did this, I, I added in more um, of our, our taps here, our, our um, outputs off of the tank. So you can, you can actually do that without losing the steam. You just break this out and put the, the piece in that you need and you're not going to lose any steam in your tank. So I, I added them along, added two more here and two more here, or three here, 
and then I just got all four of them hooked up this way just going around the base of this. Now I tried putting them at the top and they wouldn't uh, power so I guess the steam has to come out the bottom for some reason uh, on these. So uh, now if I turn them on, I've got them off right now because we're not needing any power at the moment. Um, but if you turn them on then all of these will operate at um, full capacity. So that's what the minor tweak that I had to do there. I had another minor tweak that I noticed today um, with the uh, mob farm. So let's run over to that real quick and I'll just kind of briefly explain this. Um, I was having an issue with um, uh, items that were, you know, you would kill a mob and the item would still be sitting here on top of this and not getting picked up. Um, and what it turned out to be, if we come down stairs here real quick, was I, for our wooden engine here, I had the switch here in the middle. And that switch was um, blocking or turning off the hoppers above. So I moved the switch over here. All of a sudden, all the hoppers were, that were up there were actually filled with bones and, and stuff like that, all the um, our mob drops. So uh, that cleared that out and that fixed all that for us. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is I want to find where we put our, our um, goggles at. So there they are there, our snorkel. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that on real quick. So I'm going to put that in place of our helmet. So we got our snorkel on. And then I've got an area over here. Let me eat. That I dug out that leads to the uh, ocean. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to come down here real quick. And then I'll show you in the quest book. Open this up here, and then this is right at our ocean level. So let's take a look at our quest book, and we are going to go into, uh, what chapter is it? It is chapter five, What the World Enables. And we're gonna come up here to Deep Breath. So we've already made the, um, the snorkel. The next thing we need to do is find a pearl oyster. And this is where our ring of cordata is gonna come in handy because even with the snorkel, you can only stay down there, you know, what would be the normal amount of time that you would hold your breath in vanilla Minecraft. But with this one, as long as you've got mana and you're underwater, you will be fine. Uh, you can, and let me um, put that stuff away. Uh, let me get my shovel out too. You can go underwater and when your bubbles run out, you'll still be fine because the ring will recharge it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to look down here, see if we can find ourselves any oysters. Now there's some, oh, looks like there's one over here. Yes, there is. All right, all we need to do is to get the one. Now, the easiest way to pick these up is to dig out the block underneath it. There we go. We got our pearl oyster and we got a pearl on top of that. And uh, this is something we're gonna need coming up real soon. These air bubbles are telling us there's a natural gas pocket underground there. So let's come up here. Come to our little dock area. And there we go. And let's see, is there anything else we need to do? No, we can claim our reward. We get seven more pearl oysters, a how to dive book and a sea witch's guide. So let's go ahead and claim our rewards on that. All right, let me uh, get things uh, situated and um, 
technically this is all I uh, had planned to show you but let's see if there's anything else we can do so I'll be right back with you in just a moment all right let's um, come out here and let's uh, take a look at um, the rod of the shifting crust so what this does is it allows you to uh, swap blocks and uh, let's see if I can remember how we do this so uh, you would come out here and you would say okay I want to that and then uh, let's see I think you put down that and then let's see so shift click on that and then on that and then you can um, just come along and anywhere there's so we selected the cracked sand and then boom this automatically will replace all the cracked sand with dirt as long as you have it in your inventory isn't that cool so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this I grabbed like 10 stacks of dirt so just for us to play around with a little bit Step on these punji sticks. Right. And remember, we can make all the dirt we want. We've got that um, earth essence, and yeah, so we can uh, make tons and tons and tons of dirt, and we're constantly growing more of it. So we're not gonna run out of dirt anytime soon. In fact, we're gonna have all this. Uh, crack sand that we're not going to know what we can do with so this is something I'm going to be working on you know between episodes um, trying to get all you know all this down uh, get a whole bunch of this area converted over to dirt let's see go ahead and throw down a pasture seed here and get the grass started growing um, yeah this is a part of what we want to do we want to regrow the the uh, planet here to make it a little more habitable and nice nicer to look at so let's uh, I'll do that uh, let's see how much more dirt do I have oh I still got quite a bit so let me go ahead and use up the rest of this dirt and we'll see if there's anything else we can do all right, so um, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at um, this one here that uh, opened up after deep breath. It's called Big Daddy. Now, we're probably not going to be able to do all this. Um, in fact, I know we're not because this one is a little lengthy, but we can at least um, build the things that are in here. So let's take a look at it real quick. Um, it says, a snorkel works well enough to let you stay underwater longer, but you only have but you only ever have time to grab one or two things from the ocean floor and you're still far from being able to reach the bottom of the deeper ocean. The first step is to craft a suit specifically designed for diving. Unlike the snorkel, it will increase your ability to move and harvest blocks while underwater and also increase how well you can see while underwater. So we're going to make a diving suit. So we need a diving helmet, a diving suit and the diving boots. So the, let's take a look at this. The diving helmet is uh, seven, uh, no, five copper ingots and a piece of glass. So let's first of all, let's go ahead and grab the glass. Now, I haven't shown you guys this, but I just kind of set up a bunch of barrels down here and I've been filling them up with, you know, the um, blocks and things like that. And I set up a, like kind of a, a mini super smelter here so that I could get smooth stone and glass really easy. So you can see I got almost 64 stacks of glass there. I actually only need one piece, not an entire stack of it. So let's go ahead and put the 63 back in. Just need the one, just one. Okay, and then we need five pieces of copper. So we come over here, we got our copper. One, two, three, four, five. Crafting table in the floor. There's that and that. And then we got our diving helmet. Okay, next thing on the list is the diving suit. Let's take a look at that. And that is 
six, seven pieces of leather. And I've got some leather over here. I just took a bunch of this uh, rotten flesh and threw it in the, in the pool um, so that we could get leather out of it. And let's come over here. And that was this, this, and that. And give us the diving suit. And then the last one is the diving boots, which are two leather and two iron ingots. So let's go ahead and grab our two leather. We have iron over here at the bottom. So iron, wrought iron, steel. That's uh, aluminum or aluminium. All right, so there's our iron, leather, and there's our diving boots. Okay, so we got the first part of this done. The next thing we need to do is we need a diving air supply and an air pump. So let's take a look at the diving air supply it is um, four more pieces of leather. We got those. If I can get that one, two, three, four. There's our air supply. Now let's take a look at the pump. And this is iron wheels, piece of glass, diving air supply, a piston, and uh, four planks of some sort. So the iron wheel is um, four iron and a half slab. Okay, so we need two of those. Now over here, I went ahead and I took our six basic woods and I, you know, oak, dark oak, and so on and so forth and I, I did logs planks stairs and slabs and I did that for those six and the rest of these are just the other ones that we had so let's go ahead and just grab two of those um, what else do we need we need four iron for each one okay go ahead and take a look at that I think it was like this like that those are our we only need one craft of that because that gives us three of them. That's fine. Uh, and then uh, let's go ahead and put those back up here. Like that. And uh, the next piece of this that we needed was a glass, four planks, a piston, and the uh, air supply. I'm going to make another one of those air supply, and you'll see why here in a second. Because technically, even though this looks like it's a complete suit, it's not. So, um, so we have, I made some pistons. We got that in there. We needed um, four planks of any sort. One, two, three, four. And a piece of glass, which we have over on this side here. Go ahead and grab that. and run over here and get this crafted up. So we had the two iron wheels, the glass, two, three, four, one of these, and the piston, and that makes our air pump. All right, let's see what's the next part of this. Now we got another detection task. Now that you've got better equipment, it might be time to see about collecting some more of the materials which can be found at the bottom of the ocean. Ancient sand can be cooked in this very strong, clear glass, useful for making uh, bottles from. Coral can be used to make dyes, and if you want to farm it after rehydrating it in a vat, you may find some sponges growing amongst it. So, they want us to get one piece of ancient sand. Uh, one dried blue coral and one coral rock. Let's see. I think we're going to hold off on that for now. Um, just, just because I don't want to go back in the ocean at the moment. Let's see what uh, this one is here. Let's see. I shall call you Squishy. Another machine that you think could prove useful would be one which could extract fluids from items, whether it's squeezing juice from fruit or liquid honey from drops, or your, 
you're sure you'll find a use for it. So we're going to make a squeezer. Let's see what we need for this. We need sturdy casing, two pieces of glass, and six tin. So the bronze casing, we need eight pieces of bronze. Eight bronze. We need uh, six, what is it, tin? Where's our tin at? Tin is down there. Double check that. Yeah, six tin and then two glass and sturdy casing. And the sturdy casing is eight in the rolling machine. So we get to use our rolling machine. So let's go ahead and get our two pieces of glass. One, two. And let's go ahead and run up to our rolling machine. After we sleep real quick. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to come over here and check and see if there's any monsters. First of all, we have to deal with over there. That doesn't look like it. So, all right. Over here to our rolling machine, which is already filled with power. So, let's just go ahead and put those in there like that. Click on that, let it do its thing. You can see it's drawing power. There's some power stored up in those engines. There we go. We got our sturdy casing. So, let's. Uh, Go ahead and finish putting this together. I should, um, looks like we got a skeleton or something out there. Um, yeah, I should put a crafting table out there. Actually, I'm going to run some cables over in this direction so we can do it in our area here, but uh, not right now. There's that and that, and our six tin ingots, and there's our squeezer. All right, let's see what we, oh, there's a squeezer. I'm going to pick that back up. Come back into our book. And we got a reward of 64 apples and 8 juice cans. All right, does that open up anything else underneath it? It does not. At least not now. All right, let's see. Should we go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and put it out there. And we got somebody burning up over here. Okay. He took care of himself. All right. So let's go ahead and put our uh, squeezer out here with the rest of our tools. And again, we're going to eventually move this in some place a little better than this. Um, right now, it's just um, a little convenient place to put this. We can just set this right here. And now we've got our squeezer up here. and We can put stuff in there and it'll make uh, juices and whatnot. Um, uh, we will have uses for those later on, but not right now. Okay, that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, and we'll see what we can get up to in the next one. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. <music>